Minnesota judge denied a request to release squad car video of the shooting death of Philando Castile. A St. Anthony police officer killed the 32 year old after pulling him over in Falcon Heights last summer. Castile's girlfriend live streamed the aftermath on Facebook. The Minnesota chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union filed a lawsuit back in September demanding release of the squad car video. A judge ruled yesterday the video is not public because Officer Geronimo Yanez faces a manslaughter charge in Castile's death. This week, the Department of Justice is hearing how people feel about police following Castile shooting. More than 100 people packed an elementary school gym last night for the first of three meetings designed to mend trust and get information. WCCO's Jennifer Mayerly was there. Right away, Philando Castile's friend and former co-worker opened the floor with what he called honesty. Let's be clear why I'm here. I'm here to talk about my friend that was murdered in Falcon Heights. Falcon Heights? Needs a fresh start. People who spoke after him quieted their voices, but the message was just as clear. This situation is repeatable. We shouldn't have to fear for our lives or our children's lives to that capacity just to go to the movies. Hey, be careful. Be careful uh, for the DWB, Driving Wild Black. Only one person opposed the majority of the speakers. It's always them. I didn't hear we. The listening sessions are part of a voluntary review of St. Anthony Police. The department asked the DOJ's Office of Community Oriented Policing Services to step in to review practices, training, and recruitment, among other things. And this is just the beginning of that. So the ultimate goal is to provide them with an assessment and a set of recommendations that they can implement to become um, an ideal police department. The end goal, to build community trust a federal review process that will take two to three years. This is the first time that we've seen any accountability, and as we all would say, that's not enough accountability. But I don't believe you, to be honest. I'll start believing it when I see it. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. There are two more community meetings scheduled for this week. Tonight's going to be at the St. Anthony Village High School. Tomorrow, Lauderdale City Hall. Both meetings start at 630.